well, some time has passed, and that's why the lighting's a bit different. Um, the battery ran out on me, but we only have a few more left to get through, so let's do this, right? This one is pretty cool. It's real leather. It smells like it, too. And it's bound with leather strips, I guess. And uh, it's got this elastic band, which is not, doesn't really go with the rest of it, but it says Connor Prairie on it, and that's a place out in Indiana. Um, it's a living history museum. And then this little button thing has a horse on it. Or a, a foal. See that it's real leather by the inside. And the pages are really, really cool looking. And they're all like uneven. Like this. And there's some pages in the back that I tore out because. Um, it wasn't what I wanted to do with the journal, but, or something, <laughs> but it's basically pages that, um, I really love this sh the show Supernatural, and so this is, like, um, information on different monsters in it, because so, I thought it would be cool to have my, it's called, it says the Journal of the Hunter, I thought it would be cool to have my own, like, book on, like, all the different animals, so the first entry is down. Got. So they're not bound together right now, but I've got. This is ghosts. And then got reapers, vampires, werewolves, and hellhounds um, in here so far. <laughs> and I haven't worked on this in a while. I used this really nice pen that I don't really have anymore, so I have to shift to something else. I want to use like a fountain pen, but the pages are actually kind of thin, so the fountain pen bleeds through really easily. So I just put that back here. And right now I have, the last time I wrote in this was January 17th. 2013. No? Oh, I have some more in here. Last time I wrote was January 27th, 2014. What is this? No clue. Really random notes about the Phantom of the Opera. It's really interesting. <gasps> Um, but this, at the very beginning, it just says, it says, the beast lingers in the shadows. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't remember why I wrote that, but I'll do something interesting with this in the future. I'm writing more pages of that hunter journal or whatever. Uh, yeah. uh, so, we've got this one. Which, this one I like found in our basement or something, and I like the picture. It's got several pages missing from it because I tore them out. I don't remember why, but I remember that I tore them out. It's got some poetry and drawings. Um, this is back in 2010. More poetry, and it's got... Um, lines on one side and then on the back of the page is blank so I've got some things, I've got like notes on this side and then like, sketchy stuff on the other sometimes yeah like here, there's a picture it's like 
like a really bad mandala. Is that how you pronounce it? Mandala? Mandala? I don't know. I pronounce it different every time I say it. Um, yeah, last entry was June 12th, 2011. So, but it's still over half the book. It wasn't a terribly thick journal to begin with, and the pages are a little thicker than normal, so. It's uh, made out of recycled paper, so that's cool. really really old. <laughs> I got it in 2004. It's an American Girl Diary. My aunt got it for me. It's velvet. It's really soft and on the front I wrote 2004 to 2006 to 2007 diary. But it lasted. It's It's been way longer than that and I barely wrote anything in it. Well okay maybe not. I got it like Approximately a third of the way through. Maybe a little less than that. And, uh, I'm supposed to open it with a key, but it's just unlocked now. But really, what you, all you have to do is insert something like a. something that's thin enough, and you, or you can turn it with your nail even. Just turn it like this. That's really all you have to do, but it's open. So inside of the pages have like illustration things on them. I don't know why, oh, the ribbon's just there because it's there. It's not because that's where it actually ended. I ended that far in, so. But yeah, there's like different prompts on the bottoms of the pages. And I doubt I'll ever write in this again. But just keeping it as a, a memory. <laughs> My handwriting is still almost the same as it was back then. Because even if I know how to write well, I, like I know in my brain how to do it, I can't make it happen. It's, uh, it's a psychological problem or something. <laughs> So it is magenta, so not really wanting to write in that. Um, this, found it in our basement. I think it, it's uh, blank pages, but it looks like a journal. Reminds me of something that like, there's like those royal diaries, like it's part of that whole like Dear America journal book series thing. Do you know that? Any of you? Anyways, I used to read those a lot when I was younger and there's the Royal Diaries and I really enjoyed those. I have a few, but anyways, I thought it would be something like what they would write in. <laughs> beautiful little book in our basement. It's dark green and decorated with gold designs. I love writing in a diary now. Ha ha ha. And I hope that I'll keep writing here at least every two days. That didn't happen. I only wrote the month and the day. Not the date, which is bad. But I know this was years ago. 2006, it was 2006, because this one talks about going to Niagara Falls, and we went to Niagara Falls in 2006, so. Yeah, I got to here, up oh, and here, it's when I was, um, this is 2007, this is 2009, and then the next, it's 2011, was when I was going through my journals and writing those entries. Yeah. <laughs> The 
camera is somewhat up higher than it used to be, that's why, in case you were wondering. <laughs> um, we've got this thing, it's really shiny, and I've barely written in it too, I think it's like the first few pages that I wrote in it back in, did I write dates? Nope. But I think this was way back in like 2003, 2002, 2003, something like that. So, kind of psychedelic. Yeah. Just basic lined note. Well, when I opened it to a page that had something in it, that's really crazy. <laughs> but basically, I'm to turn it. That you get it like Walmart or Dollar Store. Um, this is a sketchbook also, but I have journal entries in it as well. So I'm counting it as a journal. It's got a texture, you see? And the outline of where a sticker used to be. But I took the sticker off and wrote my name on it instead in Sharpie. This is the first picture. Um, da -da -da, lots of really... <laughs> this is really old. pages of just that. Do I have something with a date on it? Please? Something? Lightning? Drawing lightning? I remember, uh, I remember that we were at my grandparents' house and the sky was purple, like in a picture in National Geographic, and there was lightning. It was just going... It was so cool. We just sat out on the deck watching this lightning. It was amazing. Several pages of lightning. Um, abstract. I was really into lines and dots back then. <laughs> this is instructions on how to get to my grandparents' house. <gasps> That's funny. Come on, I want a date. Nope, just a lot of bad sketches up to you tear me up when you say you want to take it all away take it all away I'm pretty sure that's an Apple City song but I don't know which one <laughs> but I got halfway through halfway through I will probably use this again sometime in the future. Sometime in the future. Yes, yeah, you tear me up when you say you want to take it all away. Take it. All oh, it's called Take It All Away. That's what the song is. Wow. But I haven't listened to that in a long time. Good song, though. We've got this one. It's really pretty. And I have seen these blue butterflies, I'm pretty sure, in person. Because I've been to a couple of butterfly sanctuaries and I've seen, pretty sure I've seen this type. It smells like, um, wood fire. But that might be because downstairs my sister has made a fire. She likes to do that. Anyways, this I got from, uh, my friend... Who, uh, she had kids um, that were my friends, but I jived with her more than her kids. Um, so I got this in 2010 for my birthday from her. My 17th birthday. Uh, and I've got several entries all the way up to there, which still isn't that much. Yeah, this is definitely one that I'll come back to because it's really pretty. The prettier ones 
are ones that I'm more likely to come back and use later on. Or the ones that have been, are more used up that I'll be like, oh, I can, there's more chance of me like finishing this. I really do like spiral bound. I like I like uh, hardcover all the way and spiral bound. I can't really tell you which I like better because that some are good for some things and spiral bound are like good for some things, whereas hardcovers are good for other things. I don't know. Depends on what we're doing. <laughs> this one has got a texture to it. My dad brought home three journals and said, okay, you guys decide which ones you want. And I was in the room at the time when there's all three and I decided this is the one I wanted. It uh, has, says Indigo on it. And I took this journal to Italy with me. With me to Italy. That makes more sense, right? It is blank pages, but I used it as a journal and slash sketchbook. Anyways, got some depressing-ish sketches. Um, yeah, but then, get here. Rome, day one, 11, 14, 14. And I wrote in this, not every day, but if I didn't write in it every day, then I would write the accounts of the previous days on the day that I wrote in this. Um, unless like, it, I would say, like, yesterday we just did school and hung out, and that was it. Because there were days when we just had class and didn't go around sightseeing, but, yeah. So we've got, like, this sketch of the Colosseum. The Colosseum was smaller than I thought it would be, but I've seen a lot of Ro Roman ruins, so that might be it. Anyways. Yeah. Write some... I've got some... Give me a pen to write the words you've written in the stars. A brush to find the colors buried deep within my heart. Some poetry. Uh, this is all in cursive, but what I did was I wrote it up on my blog. It was sometimes hard to decipher my own handwriting, but I wrote it up, up on my blog so that I would have it electronically as well as physically. This is a sketch of a CC looking out. There's like mist out here. It was so beautiful in a CC. It just felt refreshing, this town carved into the mountain, pretty much. A couple drawings. This one is very organic. And then this one is abstract and it's called the murder weapon. And you have to like find where the murder weapon is. I'll show you. This thing here is a hand and it's holding a knife. It's funkily shaped, funkily, funky shaped, so that you have to really look to find it. You're learning about shapes and colors, so. Uh, yeah. Lots more entries, really detailed. I was really proud of myself for keeping that. This one. I don't know that I, I don't think that one has a name. I was trying to write music also because they had a piano there and I was trying to write basic like chords for this song that I wrote called Paper Matchstick Parade but it wasn't working out because that doesn't work for me. This really detailed drawing. I don't know why I'm being especially more detailed with this one. Probably because the, I wrote in this one really recently and that's why I'm being more detailed and showing you more of the contents. Plus, a lot of it is in intelligible, unintelligible cursive. That, no. Illegible. Is that it? Ill illegible? Oh, I'm mixing my words. Cursive, so you can't even read it. But this one is called... Hemispheres. That's what it's called. Interesting. I did several drawings like this called them different things like that. I was in a really... 
This is called Ass in Hat. It has a sign that says Dumb Ass on it. Because it's a dumb ass. And I remember drawing this, but I don't remember exactly what I was feeling. I think I was angry at somebody or something. It was probably a really stupid reason, but I was grumpy and so I drew this picture. <laughs> I'm not especially proud of this picture, but it makes me laugh now, remembering that I was being stupid. This is me matching up the characters in Maze Runner to members of a K-pop group. <laughs> I'm wacky. And this is the last one. This is... Yeah. Random Korean words and my name written over and over again. And that was the last entry of this journal because I think that was like the day or two days before we came home. So, we got this one, which I got in Italy. Real Italian leather. It doesn't smell leathery. My purse that I got there smells leathery. This doesn't smell especially leathery. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it was a good price. It's got this here. I believe I spilled some water on it, and that's why it got like that. Um, but I haven't written or drawn anything in it. It's blank pages. I'm keeping it for when I can, like, devote good time to it or something. It's, like, squishy. And there were several different designs, but I picked the lion in the end because I really liked the map, the, the old map that it's on, and I liked just like I went through several and there's this like whole street that is all these stalls which is pretty much just people selling leather products and scarves and other clothing items for a lot of money <laughs> um, but yeah I went through several stalls and found this one that I really liked and got it. I think it was 12 euros I did a lot of price comparing. I really wanted a journal to bring back. So. I didn't buy a ton of Italy souvenirs, but ones that I knew that I would love and like treasure, like that would continue to be relevant in the future. So the lighting is worse again because it is further on in the evening, but we're just going to continue because we're almost done. So this is perhaps one of my absolute favorite journals that I have. I haven't written in it in a while, but I love it. This um, picture is kind of 3D, if you can see that, and it's just really beautiful. The artist for this is a woman, a British woman, named Josephine Wall, and all of her paintings, these are oil paintings, and they're all like this, incredibly detailed and fantasy-oriented, um, and this is the full painting. This one is called The Spirit of Flight, and it was through this journal that I discovered her. Uh, and since then, she is one of my absolute favorite artists. She's just so brilliant. Um, and you can't quite see it from here, but there are so many hidden things in here. She's always hiding. There's like in the, like, the flowers down here, there's little fairies, um, and there's so many feathers, there's like an ocean in her hair, um, and these, there's butterflies, and all these colors, and just hidden things, 
and it's really, really beautiful. You could stare at it for several minutes, um, just finding all the little things. And this, this one isn't even the most detailed of her painting. She has way, way more detailed ones with incredible amounts of hidden surprises, and they're really amazing. So, my mom got this for me because she knows me so well in, I believe it's 2011. 2011. So I started this in January again, and I've got bits of stories and poems, as I always do. Um, written in diff different types of pens, got some doodles because it's hard for me to write in a journal and not have doodles, whether they are lined or not. Lots and lots of poems here. I'm reading a lot of poems. Um, this is the journal also way back in uh, 2013. It says, I used this. These are the facts that I used in my 50 Facts About Me video. If you want to check that out. <laughs> it's, and I, I make a lot of remarks and discuss some of the facts. Like, we've got... Uh, my name is not Indigo, it's Megan. I've said that several times. Uh, my handwriting is terrible, it's pretty obvious. I was born in October, it's almost my birthday. Um, I hate pink. I'd be in Ravenclaw. Um, yeah, I love going to sleep in the thunderstorm. Lots of things. This is, I'm at college. It's crazy. Um, and that is the end of that. I didn't get very far. I kind of like. I don't know. Some of these journals, like I love them. And I like want to not, I don't want to write in them because I just want to keep them as like, I, I don't even know. Do you know that feeling at all? It's like when you get a new book and it's so beautiful and the dust jacket is, if it has, it's hardcover and has a dust jacket, it's so, you know, pristine and you're just like, I don't want to read, read it and ruin it or something. It doesn't happen a lot with like books, but... Yeah, that's a silly thing about me. And then this one is the last one. It's also a really big one that I got last Christmas. It has a map on it. And I love maps. There's like gold bits on it. I really love maps. I've always loved maps. I'm good with navigation. And I can find, mom goes, we need to get from here to here, what's the easiest way? I want to avoid this highway, and I'm good at that. Even when we were like in France and we were navigating using a, a map that was all in French and whatever. But, uh, yeah, it says journal here. I really, really love this. It is blank. So it's a sketchbooky type journal, um, and I will likely use it as a sketchbook rather than as a journal, since I have that other big one, a few big ones to use as a journal. Um, but you never know with me. I always end up writing funky notes on random pages in my sketchbooks, like always. There's always, every sketchbook I have has, has a page that is full of writing. <laughs> um, Oh. This has the more, the kind of a little bit thicker pages. Um, so it, it's good for writing or coloring with markers as well. There's like print on the inside. Um, I don't know who makes this because there's no um, uh, like marking thing. On the front, it does say, um, Nova Torius, uh, 
basically it's saying in Latin, like this is a map of the earth or of the globe. I'm pretty sure. So this is a really big <laughs> journal. A sketchbook rather. And I have at least like six or seven other sketchbooks that I'm not showing you because they're sketchbooks and it's kind of like repeating. Um, one of them is I'm using to press leaves in, actually. So, there's that. And there's got to be a couple around the house somewhere that I've missed as well. And then the last one will just be this one. Again, my journal of good thoughts. It is a journal. As you can see, it is has lined pages. Oops. I'm really, really close to finishing it, actually. This is what's used up and this is what's not used up. So that's cool. And then I might make... I've already made, uh, you know, I've made a video with this. Um, so I'd like to make, um, use one of these journals to make, like, an ASMR book. So everything in it would be for the purpose of making tingly sounds or have poetry that is, like, really good for, like, whispering with words with, like, 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 sleep and, or t, or s words. Um, so... That is the last one. Oh wait, we got this one, which is not exactly a journal either, but I keep it on my journal shelf, so I might as well show it to you. It is this thing, which looks like a photo album, but it's actually a book of ah, black pages, which is good for um, gel pens. And it's got, each page has like a thin thing on top of it, I think. So it could be like a photo album. Um, if you wanted it to be, depending on what type of person you are. It says, uh, doodle book on the front. I didn't have great quality gel pens, so not a whole lot of things, not all gel pens actually show up on this. Just like neon ones. So, yeah, I haven't really done much with it. I've had it for a few years now. A friend gave it to me. But, uh, that's... That's all the journals, and so, ta-da, it's been a very long video, and I had to take a few breaks to empty the card out and stuff, but those are all my journals, but that's not even the small ones, we still have all the little ones, um, but obviously going to be saving that for another video, because... This was long enough already, right? <laughs> so, uh, I will see you guys soon, and the next video probably will not be the small journals, it'll be something else, but I will get to that eventually. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and were tingled, or at least relaxed, and have a wonderful rest of your day, or night, and week, and life. And I really, really love you.